Hey guys, Ryan here for Bender Wins. Hope everyone's doing well today. Here with your daily free picks. So today's video, guys, as always, brought to you by BetOpenly.com, the world's first peer-to-peer -peer sports betting site. If you have not checked them out, guys, definitely need to check them out. BetOpenly.com. All right, before we get into today's video, guys, ask you a favor. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I post free picks every single day. Um, well, almost every single day. And uh, yeah, when you hit that subscribe button, guys, make sure you turn on that bell for notifications so you get notifications as soon as my videos come out. That way the lines don't move on you and you don't miss games, etc., etc., etc. All right, so good day yesterday, guys. Uh, we end up going 2-0 in free picks, including a two-unit play uh, in the New York Yankees game. So um, Yankees... Uh, a little bit of a roller coaster game. They kept getting men stranded on base or hitting into double plays. They got a two run lead, gave that up with one swing in the bat, two all, and then walked it off on a beauty hit in the bottom of the ninth inning. Um, and then again, so look, that was our two in a win, but I'd say more impressively, Dodgers and Angels under guys. No one was betting on the under. There's so much money coming in on the over. But look, I've said this to you guys before, and I did, I got a little flack, I won't say flack, I had people, you know, questioning the pick and saying, like, no way, everyone saw what happened the night before, okay, I mean, Dodgers and Angels tore it up, what are they, I think, what, 25 runs or something like that the night before, maybe more, I don't know, I stopped watching at a certain point, but um, everyone sees that, they see this massive outpouring of offense, they see the fact that, you know, Angels have terrible pitching on the mound I was actually I was considering the Angels I just didn't have the guts to pull the trigger on it but I definitely like the under um you know th that was that was one of those games where you know it, it kind of proves with both picks that sometimes sometimes the uglier the pick the better it is and that's kind of what I tell you guys is you know a lot of what we do is taking very unattractive nasty looking plays and this was one of them you know Dodgers and and Anaheim, um, you know, Anaheim pitching, Anaheim, sorry, I know they're in LA now, LA, LA Angels pitching has struggled, um, you know, and it's certainly, uh, it looked like that might be the case in this game after, you know, the night before, um, the, and both teams scoring back and forth, back and forth, but uh, again, there was a lot of things to like about the under in this game, and I know that you know, the public definitely went heavy on the over. There was some steam on the under. And there was a fair amount of steam on the Angels in this game. Um, I just couldn't bring myself to bet the Angels. The more I looked at that game, the scarier it was to for me to bet on the Angels. So I ultimately decided, you know, no play there, but I like the under. Congratulations to people who did bet the Angels. You know, it, 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 was, it was the play of those two plays. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Um, you know, not with the inconsistencies in the, in the LA lineup, but... Again, guys, you know, when it comes to baseball, you know, I, I say that one of the great attributes about baseball is, you know, you have to almost be fearless to win at baseball, okay? Because you have to be willing to bet dogs and you have to be willing to bet ugly games, okay? Counterintuitive matchups where the information supports that and everything in your brain might be telling you, you know, well, once you've seen it a lot, once you, you know, you've, you've been there and you've done that and you have years of experience, you know, your brain will be telling you, hey, those are good things. But when you're starting to cap baseball, you know, your, your brain's going to tell you, no, that that's an awful pick, but it'll also tell you, well, all the information is pointing on that. So everything is pointing at the under in this game, but both pitchers have an ERA of like 10.6 and they can't get anyone out in the last six games they played. We're all over, but all this other information supporting the under for the game. Um, you know, bunch of steam on the under good money distribution on the under, um, you know, a couple system indicators on the under, but it's saying to you over. And you know what? Those are great games to bet. They're great games to bet, okay? Bet with the math and bet with, you know, the systems and stuff like that until, you know, you develop that sixth sense for, you know, certain games to bet and certain games to lay off, et cetera, et cetera. So the bottom line is my point here, guys, is, you know, in order to be successful in baseball, you have to be willing to... You know, you have to be willing to look bad some days, right? You gotta, you gotta take those dogs at a value, and then you also have to be able to, um, you know, bet those ugly games, those games that, you know, no one else wants to touch because they're very profitable. All right, so um, without further ado, here, guys, 
Let's get cracking on today. Congratulations to everybody who joined Masterclass this weekend. Had a good weekend. Um, today, guys, I have two free picks for you guys, both in baseball. And in Masterclass, um, I have a total of six more plays, including a two-unit play. Um, here's my breakdown. I have one basketball play in Masterclass. I have four baseball plays, and then I have a two-unit soccer play going tomorrow morning. So I think it's just a 1 p.m. tomorrow. So it goes tomorrow at 1 p.m., uh, but I'm getting that out today. If you guys are interested in Masterclass, BenderWins.com. It's $99 a month. Um, works out to like three bucks a day. So cheaper than what most people charge for one day. All right, and you get a lot of educational value, guys. Uh, 13 Masterclass Educational Series videos, uh, yada, yada, yada. All right, so um, first play, guys, we are going to go Boston and Baltimore under 9 minus 105. So Boston, Baltimore, under 9 minus 105. Um, we lost 9.5 in this one. It didn't stick around too long. Um, quick steam. I didn't even get 9.5 on this one. Uh, if you did, congratulations. You're quicker than I am. Um, but yeah, so I still like this game at nine, um, you know, especially considering we're paying minus 105, you could get, I have seen, I think there's one book left at even money, uh, but most are 105 now, okay? Uh, next game, guys, uh, we are gonna take, we're gonna do a first five inning line, okay? So we're gonna take Cincinnati money line on the first five innings, minus 164. All right, so look, Keller has been, bad for, um, I was going to say Detroit, for Pittsburgh, okay? Keller's been bad for Pittsburgh. And look, the Pirates record of 14 and 19 is actually the Pirates overperforming, believe it or not. That is the Pirates overperforming, okay? They start off the season really well. They've started to fade again. Um, and you know, where, what's Cincinnati's issue, okay? What's it, why, why is Cincinnati this, you know, 500 club when they have all that offense, um, you know, and they should be producing. Well, look, Cincinnati has produced runs. They're second in the league in runs. Now, a lot of that did come in, you know, some big offensive outputs and stuff. But where they've really struggled is with their 4.81 ERA overall. And a lot of that, guys, is their bullpen. So let's take a look at their two strengths in this game. And let's see if we can combine those. And how do we combine those? And how do we take advantage of a, of a Pittsburgh weakness? By betting the first five innings in this particular game, okay? We're going to try to eliminate, hopefully, the bullpen from this game. You know, we hope that, um, you know, we get five solid innings, okay? We hope that Keller, uh, you know, continues his inconsistency, you know, um, hopefully walks some batters, gives up a few runs, and, um, you know, we'll have Cincinnati's, uh, Cincinnati's bats, second highest scoring team in the league, um, Coupled with the fact we don't have to deal with their bullpen late in the game, which could have a meltdown, right? So that's what we're going to do, guys. Cincinnati, first five innings, minus 164. All right, so that is it for us today, guys. Um, again, if you're interested in Masterclass, I have six additional videos, some NBA. I got some nice baseball underdogs today, and I have a two-unit play in soccer tomorrow. So lots coming up, guys. Um, yeah. I think that's going to be it for us today. Thank you guys very much. And as always, guys, have a very lucky day.